Okay, first of all, I'm going to explain what a buttress is, basically. If you imagine this whole side of the cathedral, with a roof on top, the wall is trying to move out in this direction, because it can't go down unless it collapses in on itself, and it can't go, well, it could go in, but the roof generally pushes it outwards, the weight of the roof. A buttress is a vertical piece of generally solid stonework, and it's designed to take the thrust outwards and push it downwards into the ground. So it's a kind of counterforce to the pushing of the roof and the weight of the wall and all that sort of crap. So in Minecraft, a buttress doesn't actually do anything, but they can add a very good look to buildings. I'm going to borrow this little corner of wall to quickly build a few buttresses and show you the different kinds. Uh, the first kind I'm going to show you is called a clasping buttress and it's called a clasping buttress because literally it clasps the corner of a wall and you'll have to excuse my dodgy placement here I'm not used to playing while recording and there's an all ground a little bit of lag so generally with but uh, buttresses if you have enough room over say 10 blocks of vertical space I would break the buttress up into two tiers and I'll put some steps between and I'll need a half step where is it there so that basically is called a clasping buttress um, I suppose it's especially useful on very heavy structures where there isn't just force that way and that way, but outwards diagonally, because it would provide extra diagonal um, reinforcement. So that's the first one, a clasping buttress, because it clasps the entire corner of a building. The second kind is an angled buttress, or an angle buttress, and it's a fairly standard kind. Uh, what you'd do is you'd go just from the corner I'm doing this too wide because the wall has a quite chunky appearance. You could do it one wide if you wanted. And go up like this. Another one, whoops, here. Oh, come on. So it doesn't fill in the corner like, like a clasping buttress, but it has um, reinforcement that way and that way at right angles. That one's called an angle buttress because it's at right angles uh, from the walls, from the stonework. The third kind is a setback buttress, which is essentially the same as an angled buttress Oops, but you set it back uh, from the very corner. I'm doing it one block, you can set it back as far as you want. Oops, placing really badly here. That's a setback buttress, and you build another one up the side there, and you get the idea. So you expose the corners of the building, and if you want, you can expose even more than that. That's a setback buttress. The fourth kind is a diagonal buttress, and as you might guess, it comes out at a diagonal angle whoops, from the wall. doesn't generally look so good in Minecraft, mostly because you can't angle uh, diagonally. You just sort of have to leave it, because you can't. You can do it that way or that way, but you can't keep it at a diagonal angle, you know what I mean. Um, so it doesn't look that good unless you've got a huge uh, structure where the uh, the slope is more suggested. So that one's called a diagonal buttress because it protrudes diagonally from the corner of the wall. The fifth type of buttress is called a flying buttress. 
and it can actually be any of the other four kinds. I'm going to build a setback flying buttress and show you what it will look like. Uh, even though it's called a flying buttress, it is planted on the ground. But I'll show you why it's called a flying buttress. Just make up a slightly interesting design. So you'll see, hopefully straight away, that it has a gap. Um, just put those in. So you'll see that it has a gap, so it's actually out away from the wall. And um, I wonder if I can actually make that go up there. Okay. Yeah, so variations of design, whatever you want. Uh, but basically a flying buttress is one where all of the stonework is not pressed against the wall. Some of it is um, running parallel away from the wall. I'm not quite sure what the benefit of these is uh, in terms of real um, architecture. Uh, maybe it makes the buttress way less, maybe it's more secure, maybe there is no benefit and it just looks better. Um, but it does tend to look good on larger structures, but on smaller structures I think it will get, it'll be hard to sort of give it that uh, vast grand look that a uh, flying buttress can give it. And that's the five kinds of buttresses.